Go on, talk away. Talk about your win. Um, I'm pretty pleased. I didn't run the best two weeks ago at Leeds, but I suppose it should have happened because I'm peaking for the Euros, so I still had a month to go to peak, but I'm really happy that I came back and changed the score this time against my, my fellow countrymen. I've got to say, that was a thrilling finish there on, the, yeah. on that final straight. How was it for you when you were going around that final corner? Was it just a matter of everything now? For everything uh, this? It was a bit. I didn't really want to make my move right now because I know how long that finish can feel. But I thought, he's tiring. I'll go by him around the corner and get advantage. Maybe get in his head a bit as well. And it seemed to work. So. <laughs> Got into the race. Was that your tactic all along? Just stick at the front, wait for your man. Uh, it was just do as little as possible for as long. Yeah. I actually originally planned about 2k, but me and Butcher have pulled ahead and just thought, I'll keep it going. Try and break him early. It's like, he did well come back at me. And he almost had me going through the trees. I couldn't respond. And then he just sort of stopped his move and I managed to find another gear. And with that win, guarantees a place in Bulgaria. Yeah. You must be absolutely thrilled to go to those European champs again. Oh, I'm really pleased. That's what my whole, since the Commonwealth Games, I've been gearing up for the Euros, maybe try and sneak a medal in under 23. And under, is under 23 what you're going for? Yeah. Yep. And that's what you're yeah. So now what are you going to do in the next few weeks now, getting ready for that last? Just speed up. I've got the I've got the engine as I proved in my half marathon. So it's just about getting the speed for the final part of the race because it's a problem with the Euros, you get some pretty quick guys and then 